Good morning, this is Federico Bentley from Yondo Markets giving you this morning's market update. This morning we start by focusing on George Osborne, as he's expected to reveal massive cuts to four government departments ahead of its comprehensive spending review. The Treasury said Osborne will lay out further details of cuts to government spending at the spending review in two weeks on 25th of November. The government first announced plans for a CSR in July, promising that the review would spell out how the government would achieve £20 billion pounds and savings in order to meet its goal of eliminating the national deficit by the end of the parliament. Now looking at European markets, UK 100 rollings stagnant for the day, the France 40 rollings trading 25 points lower and as for the Germany 30 rollings 55 points below this morning's open. Skipping across the pond on Friday, non-farm payroll figures smashed expectations pushing the dollar to a seventh month high. The US dollar rose to its highest in seven months as US non-farm payroll smashed expectations in October. The US economy added 271,000 jobs against 180,000 expected, pushing the DXA US dollar index up 1.2% to 99.15, its highest since April. Meanwhile, the dollar jumped 1.16% against the pound to 66.51p. The jobless rate dipped 5%, while labor force participation remained at 62.4%, while average hourly earnings rose 0.4% above the 0.2% expected. It's a relief for US markets, which were let down when September's figures showed growth of just 142,000 jobs, way below economists' expectations of 201. Now for some corporate news. A number of Volkswagen engineers have admitted manipulating carbon dioxide data because the targets set were difficult to achieve. German paper build and Sontag reports. BHP Pilotin is reviewing its iron ore production guidance for 2016 following the disaster at one of its mines in Brazil, in which a dam burst, flooding a nearby village and killing a number of people. The French government is attempting to block a merger between Renault and Nissan. And finally, Lufthansa is having to cancel 929 flights, affecting 113,000 people because of industrial action. That's all for today's news, so thank you very much for listening and all the best on your day's trading.